the union of Jeff and Chandler in marriage. We're here to laugh with them. Some of us are here to cry, but most of all, we're here to wish them well as they begin their life together. Looking out, the morning air is waiting for us. Jeff, you are my lifelong partner. After almost seven years, I finally am able to call you my husband. I didn't know what an incredible journey we are embarking on upon together. I didn't believe that I could find a man who would remind me every day to dream bigger, to work harder, to open my heart to the possibilities of this beautiful life. I didn't realize I could love anyone as much as I love you. We'll go as far as our feet can take us, heaven knows. Chandler, my lifelong partner, soon to be wife. So hard to believe even as we're living it. We're a long way from the ski house and that corner I had to pull you out of. But in all seriousness, if I had to pick one favorite memory over the past seven years that sticks out, the love we have together would be our trip to Lodi. I could feel our bond grow stronger as we were throwing the baseball in the park, kayaking way too far around the lake, and discussing cabin plans for our future. And the hiking and listening to our favorite music and the dancing on the cliff together. I even broke through your pickiness and had you try walleye. Look at you. Oh, you're exciting. I'm happy. Oh, you're good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> love you too. Since then, I have grown to love many things about you. I see the care and adoration you have for my family and for your own. The way you around your niece and nephews. Allow me to see how great of a mother you'll be. I love how passionate and driven you are at everything you take on. I love how driven and dedicated you are to your career. I'm so proud of you and excited to continue standing by your side as you continue to, to succeed. I love the amount of patience you have with me, especially when I'm running late. You never rush me. I love the amount of love and commitment you have for both of our families. But most of all, I love your sense of humor. You always make me laugh every day, which makes my days so much better. I remember our vacation in August of 2016. You and I went to the ocean together for the first time in South Carolina. All that mattered at that moment was just you and I walking in the magical waters that God provides us. I remember looking at you and thinking, this is the man I'm going to marry. This is a feeling I never experienced before. The feeling that I know, know what true love is. And let's just say this, it's the most amazing feeling. For the rest of my life, I promise to love you through all the ups and downs that life gives us. I promise to support you. I promise to let you watch Martin Madness in March. I promise to always let you have your guys' nights. You're welcome. <laughs> I promise to limit myself to only one nap on Sunday afternoons, although it may be long. But most of all, I promise to always be faithful and to always be your best friend no matter what. Do you take Jeff as your husband and companion? Do you take Chandler as your wife? and assure her that you love her from this day forward. I also love your long hugs after rough days, our movie nights together in which I promise to always have a bag of Sour Patch Kids for you. I promise I will always warm your hands and feet up no matter how cold it is. And I do promise to allow you to rewatch a movie. Once. <laughs> Just once. I now formally pronounce Jeff and Chandler to be husband and wife. I present for the first time Jeff and Chandler Reinholtz. It's like running through an open door. It's like finding what you're looking for. We've been waiting. We won't wait no more. Every season, every memory. In August, we moved her from home to Clark University. And they were talking, and all of a sudden I kind of said, Chandler, you're getting the boot. Three years later, after graduation, we're moving her out to their 
new house. And I think I said at that time, you're getting the boot. Guess what? She's getting the boot. The best is yet to come. Jeffrey, today you just married a doctor. It's every parent's dream to have their kid marry a doctor. Congratulations. Good luck to you guys. Beautiful story. Every moment on and on. We got a beautiful story. And we've only just begun. The best is yet to come. To illustrate just how great Chandler and Jeff are, I enlisted some help from their niece and nephews. About Chandler, they said, she's pretty, she sings really well, she loves to play and draw. About Jeff, they said, he's funny, he's cute, he's tall, but he's really silly. <laughs> I'm so happy to know you both and to have you in my life. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Reinhold! Jeff, through all the ups and downs, I am so thankful for the relationship I have with you. If you are even half as good of a husband as you are a best friend, you will be in for an amazing and happy marriage. I love you both, and I wish you the happiest times together for many years to come. Cheers. It's like running through an open door. It's like finding what you're looking for. We got a beautiful story. looking forward to growing old with you, for you to be with me for the rest of our lives. I couldn't have asked for a better life partner than you. Most importantly, I promise to always be faithful and to love you unconditionally every single day. I'm excited for the future to see what it holds for us.